the open excavation next and uh, retain deep excavation you can see those uh, valors actually uh, the steel valors we use to anchor the piles also even because it is difficult to design a pile as a cantilever for 20 meters so what we do is we anchor these valors into the earth with the uh, earth anchor these are some of the projects which we have done with this deep excavation this is a 22 meter deep and this is another very uh, we are talking about chinese border now the Doklam and all that, we are doing projects there, retaining earth of 22 meters. This is traditional retaining wall versus the anchor. Next. So this is the layout, photos, actual photographs. Survey and uh, you can move past. These are all large mass excavations of 2 kilometers into a depth of 3 meters, 4 meters kind of. And here you can see one minute, you can go back one. You can see on one side the excavation will be going on, on the other side we do the slabs, foundation and slabs of the construction. This is a fast track construction of 18 lakh square feet completed in 24 months with all fit outs done. It is a really completed project. And you can see the various weathered rock, combination of soil, weathered rock and solid rock. So we have used uh, different technologies for retaining. We used active earth anchors, we have used the shoring piles. And you can see the, these are all the reports given by my project management team on site. So engineers have to monitor this kind of excavation continuously. Okay. Shoring, you can see those shoring piles here. And we do the, here you can see this is not a shoring actually. Here we have done the earth anchors, active earth anchors, and we do the mesh and do the short creep on the side to retain the earth. Even if it rains, the earth should not collapse. Next. Next. So this is the, like 1 lakh square feet of area uh, to 20 meters deep excavation. Can, yeah, this is another interesting thing we did in Hyderabad only. In Hyderabad, this rock culture you see, you can see this, these are boulders actually. So here what we did is, we used the method of rock stitching. We have stitched these boulders to make it as a raft actually. And uh, without concrete foundation, we constructed seven-story building on these boulders. We just connected these rocks and we made that rocks itself as a raft actually. So this is an interesting uh, project we did and this is the anchors you can see those uh, cables these are the earth anchors where we have drilled the holes uh, put the anchor stress it and then grout it like post tension ah, so here you can see that uh, action so here we are drilling the hole and uh, we have put these valors uh, soldiers actually vertical are called soldiers and uh, horizontal is valors and we put these valors uh, this is the normal excavation and you can see the large gap. These are all uh, excavation thing itself. So excavation itself is a huge subject actually in construction because we deal with excavation first. If anything goes wrong in excavation, our project is stopped. So in recently you must have heard in Hyderabad, in the last uh, three, four months there were three accidents where about ten people died in excavation. So if they don't use the technology, so you must uh, insist on using proper methods of engineered uh, uh, construction actually for excavation. Everybody thinks excavation is an easy job, but it requires a lot of engineering. So these are the removal of boulders. Ah. This is rock cutting by normal controlled blasting method. And this is the rock cutting. The, you can see those rocks as blocks where we are cutting using the diamond rope. So you get like a cake, the rock, you can take them out. Here you can see the anchoring into the rock. I said uh, we did the stitching of these boulders. So you can see how the... And these boulders we saved, we didn't take them off. And the architect wanted to see those boulders from the flooring. So we have given a glass flooring with a structural steel floor and people can see the boulders below. So you walk on the rock as it is. So that kind of uh, things we did. So these are all the various projects of excavation. Large as filling or uh, cutting.
ordinary rock and so this is the uh, how do we identify whether a particular rock the contractor always wants to say it is hard rock <laughs> civil engineers know quite well and we as consultants don't want to accept easily so we do the on field test to identify whether a particular soil is a hard rock or soft rock so these are all the drawings made on the site and uh, demonstration and identification to quantify how much is the soft rock how much is the hard rock and normal soil we do that so this is the pulse plasma concept actually this is the latest korean technology uh, being used and uh, it is the best technology now available for rock i'll show the video rather than talking about the theory uh, after fragmentation yeah. absolutely no ah sorry here you can uh, so we drill the holes we put the cathodes you can see this uh, we are drilling the cost comparison i would tell you uh, rock cutting if you see uh, a normal open blasting without control we pay 400 rupees per cubic meter and controlled blasting we pay 800 rupees per cubic meter if we use diamond rock cutting we pay 2500 per cubic meter if we use pulse plasma we pay 3500 rupees per cubic meter you can see the cost variation 10 times so in engineer before deciding the method of blasting we have to study the site condition and take a decision before itself so after commencement of the work so you can see within a fraction of second the whole rock you can uh, get a about but the actual cost is less but the technology the power the drilling and all these cost more and we have another method also that is uh, expensive chemicals uh, that is uh, we use that where we have open cast so you can take the pieces out this is the control blast of a boulder you can see with the pulse plasma so that's how without noise without uh, i mean people can stand next to it otherwise in a conventional uh, blasting we have a siren we have red flags and we have evacuation area of about but still there will be accidents happening people get injured buildings get damaged nearby because you can't control you can't decide how the rock flies this is a diamond rope cutting here i'll not spend my, this is already available in mining actually so this is the diamond rope cutting you will get that you can see that uh, block how nicely it is cut i don't have to build a retaining wall i'll use the cut surface itself as the retaining so this is the diamond rope here again. so this is the diamond rope you can see i will be cutting to the extent of 10 meter by 10 meter rock as with a straight uh, this one plane and i can do the vertical cut and all this i can i can take out about 100 cubic meters of rock in a day with this diamond rope i am doing already in a project in hyderabad in a busy street actually without affecting the neighbors we have uh, buildings adjacent to our compound wall itself and we are using this technology you can make it faster so you can see the extent of uh, cut the horizontal cut so on this i need not do any pcc in the flooring i can just directly put my finishing floor rock breaking expensive chemicals this uh, you already know and uh, these are all the equipments that we use for excavation and uh, we we also have to decide depending on the reach required and lot of safety issues in backhoe and uh, clamp shovel scrapers bulldozer these are all the equipments which we normally use in this uh, project Dewatering is another big thing that happens in projects which is missed out. Shoring, normal uh, shoring and then uh, piles, pneumatic shoring, soil nailing and uh, types of soil. So this is the nailing, yeah. So you can see here that uh, anchor pile, anchor being done, soil anchoring. So this is a normal shoring people use for excavation you make berms and the slope of one is to two you can see how much space we have to use for that and you can see this vertical cut here this is using the nails actually 
interestingly, in one of the projects, we didn't build the retaining wall. We just, uh, we are using that slope for light and ventilation into the basement. So we didn't build the retaining wall. So this is the rock excavation. In, uh, we have the breakers and the burners and all that. This is tunneling actually.